Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, we're playing uh, Song of the Deep today. And, uh, how's everybody doing? Let me see. Let me know. I'm doing great. The grand is doing great. Oh, were you not talking to me? Yeah. Well, no, I'm talking to you. <laughs> everybody. I said everybody. I was talking to everybody. What is this music? This is the theme song. <laughs> uh, everyone hear me all right? Uh, well, while we while we've got a little test in time. I killed that flicker. Oh yeah, the fan flicker. Fan, the fan officially broke. My my, my oh, dumpy old fan. I think it's finally dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a new a new fan. As soon as humanly possible. 3D mind is still here and kicking. Resub, thank you. Still here and kicking. I love the 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 marathon, you know, consistency. It's like an endurance test. Still alive. Right. Still supporting you. No regrets. <laughs> still. Let you know if there are regrets. Sound is good, look is good, nice, nice. This game is deep. Yeah, we, we, we started it off on uh, a puntacular uh, <laughs> beginning. Well, I mean, verticality is definitely a question here. You know, verticality works both ways. Oh, yeah. Verticality just doesn't mean up. It's true. So, I expect to see Yeah. So lots, lots of descending. Yeah, and th there definitely is. Uh, it's actually quite a big map. And uh, there is a fair amount of backtracking, but not too bad. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they, they leave some space uh, for later on. Grizzilla raises legitimate concern blood. It's been really hard following your streams and Pokemon going at the same time. That would be a oh, challenge. right. That would be a challenge. You need to work out some <laughs> joint Pokemon Go Watch Easy Allies app. Uh, not to hijack your stream, for, but like, but I went to the pier last night in yeah. Santa Monica. I've never seen anything like it in my life. As a video game fan, it was it was its own complete crazy phenomenon. Like the pier, the pier was playing Pokemon Go. It was it like if you weren't, <laughs> get the hell out. Like it was, it was so nuts to just be walking on the sand and have eighty people around you all screaming like. You know, like Pikachu, Pikachu. You know, just like <laughs> what was one of the, like, like Squirrel popped up, and you could hear just like Chis, Squirrel, Squirtle. I'm like, where am I right now? Is this performance art? You know, is this like a flash mob? And it's not. It's a video game. It, like, like, like I bet if you go back a week later, it probably won't be that crazy. But like, it was. We like went out to dinner, and we're like, let's just walk down to the beach for kicks. You know, and see what's going on down there. And like, nice. uh, just sitting there laughing. My battery's about to die. I was freaking out. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, get that hit on Chan. Okay, continue. Uh, yeah, Song of the Deep. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is by Insomniac, uh, published by Game Trust, which is part of GameStop. Crazy, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's basically uh, it's basically like a Metroid game. Uh, you've got all the tunnels to go through, but you know, rather than walking, you're in a little submarine. Uh, I I beat it last night. Uh, Baddington resub. Woohoo! Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I spent nine, about nine and a half hours, I'd say six to eight for most people. I, I, I actually, I did some ridiculous stuff, Brandon. Ridiculous. Like, say. I, I, there were, basically, there are these ball things, right? Okay. And they, they detonate. Right. And I, I saw that I, I needed a, something to detonate over here. But the ball thing was below it, so like I got under it like a dolphin, and I was like balancing it. Okay. And I like balanced my balanced it up to where that was, and of course I go and it's, I spent forever to do that, probably I don't know half an hour to an hour to like get it right, and then of course I go around the next corner and like there's the power up that lets me float no, the ball. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> well, I I uh, I don't know if you watch our Pokemon video that Kyle and I try to make every week. But I went through an entire tunnel in the dark because I had didn't have the flash ability oh, yeah. to light the tunnel yep, up. Yep. So, yeah, I, 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 I will, I will push on that pole door as, as hard as I can until it, you know, until I knock the whole wall down. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and I and I knew that. I just it becomes one of these things where it's like I bet I can do this, yep. so I'm gonna try to do it. Um, so yeah, so and then the other thing. Uh, this this is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. The, but, puns, the puns are just out of control. <laughs> but uh, this game uh, doesn't have multiple save slots, 
So I'm actually on a different profile right now to be able to show you the beginning of the game without deleting my save file uh, before I finish the review. <clears throat> can you go back? I remember one of your issues with Ori is that you couldn't go back when the, when the end credits. You can happened, go back into the game. Cool. Uh, there are there are still like about I think I have like seven or eight items left to find that are just like just like the health and energy upgrades. I got all like the the ability upgrades, which some of those are hidden. Like you could totally miss some of those, which I thought was great. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll get started, we'll watch the opening cutscene, and we'll keep, continue the conversation after that. Wait. Um. Uh, a little confused. We'll, we'll make the risk. I'm, I'm, I'm scared because, but there wasn't a continue option. No. So that's strange. Marin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, I don't like where this is going, but... they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dream, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. This is actually a prequel to Bioshock. <laughs> I was pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Uh, sorry that there's no subtitles. I thought I'd turn subtitles on. Maybe there's not in those cutscenes. <laughs> she can, like... Find an ancient civilization and help them defend themselves from the evils of mankind. And then at the end, she's like, oh, well, I'm glad I could help you. But really what I came here for was to find my dad. And they were like, oh, is, does he have like a red beard? And like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, he's dead. He, he died a long time ago. And she's like, oh, 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 the credits. You're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Kind of an abrupt, sad ending. Uh, oh, somebody had... There we go. The loading was a little longer than I expected. Somebody had asked about the uh, the NES Mini. Did you see that thing this morning? See what now? The NES Mini. I, I, heard, I heard rumblings of that, but I don't know what that is. Um, so, it is... It's basically the type of thing that's existed in, like, pirate form for ages. Uh, it's, it's a miniature NES with sure. 30 games on it for 60 bucks. Okay. And uh, and then you can actually it has the same ports as the uh, the bottom of the Wii remote, so you can actually use existing classic controllers. Oh, cool! Um, but it comes with an NES controller uh, as well that uh, that has that same port. So it's a fun little thing. The world beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. All right, so the VO I imagine helps. You're trying to figure out what you're supposed to do. Yeah. 
So, yeah, so like any kind of Metroid game, it's like, okay, there's a there's a thing I can't get through. I'll try to remember that eventually. Uh, and then let's see what we got for a map. Not much, but yeah, it maps out oh, cool, as you cool, go. Cool, yeah, that helps. So. Like a little fog of war, kind of, like. Yeah. So it's just, just light up the room, like, aw. Let's see here. And this, this pink stuff I didn't notice until later. Yeah, somebody's pointing out that the subtitle font is a bit unfortunate. It's a little hard to read. Oh, yeah, when it's a bit smaller. Well, it's, it's just very artsy, like it fits the theme of the game, but it's like, it's tough to... Sometimes you gotta hold back right. on the theme and, and favor uh, legibility or functionality. And then, see, then you get like these uh, bits where... It, you know the water exactly. flows. Up, you know you got these. Uh, oh, that's cool. So that 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 becomes a thing that's you know kind of like a, a way to block passages at certain points as well. There's just like too much uh, too much water pressure or whatever. Uh, finding Dory last night, so this is perfect. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, there's been, like some frame rate nonsense yeah. in it. That's one of my chief complaints, honestly, is just how frequent the frame rate issues are. An eerie light flickered and danced on the sea floor, like an underwater fire. Her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? Okay, I've I'd forgotten what the explanation for time was. So there we go. Yeah, so here's the like the jets of water here. So this kind of becomes like a little bit of a trap or a puzzle. Just gotta time your way through. made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Clockwork seahorse. Oh. And then there's these, of course, these tiny little nice. out of the way things. going swimmingly. Oh, yeah, so I got my way pushed out of there. Easier to go back up this way. It, it, as with any of these types of games, it's, it's, it's really tricky to like get used to not having any abilities. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can move and I can move. Okay, got it. And first item, magnetic claw, versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. So, yeah, so if you play Pixel Junk Shooter, this is like the first thing that kind of reminded me of that. You know, just grab stuff with the claw. Ah. If I played Affordable Space Adventures, I think I played a little bit of it, or Kyle played a little bit of it, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, here's one of the first things that you can do is that you can you know, grab stuff and throw it. Uh, this is probably, this will probably come up in the review a bit, is that just sometimes throwing things can be a little, little funky. They don't always go exactly where you think that they're going to go, or where you want them to go. shock nettles ahead of her. She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. 
And then that little green thing is just to help pick up. Pick up these shells too. What is Brandon up to today? I'm cutting our Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness review. <laughs> Written by Michael Damiani. And uh, now that'll put me on top of our reviews. If I can get that done. And then this <laughs> evening I'm streaming Red Dead at 10. Nice. Yeah, we gotta get that on the schedule. Uh, and then, hopefully, uh, soon enough, uh, I'll have this review done. Writing. Probably we'll have it ready tomorrow to uh, start getting cut. Written by Damiani. Nice. He has a lot of integrity. Yeah, yeah. The sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. I love the design of this thing. What is that? Uh, According to Fox, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea wings, explorers maybe. called the Fomori. Marin always the thought the Fomori were a myth. Yeah. Uh, now she wondered if her Kyle. father's oh, yeah. stories might be true. Did you see the Guardian thing before I blew it up? You might have missed it. Red Dead Revisited isn't listed on the schedule. Of course it's not. It's Red Dead Revisited. Sneaky one. We put it on the schedule before. Yeah, here and there. All right. Looks like we're gonna get ahead now. Red Dead Resurgence. The old statue reminded her of her father's lullabies about the brave and beautiful Meros. Mecha Messiah resub. Thank you. So yeah, you assemble the statues, and then that opens up certain gates. Yeah, it slows down a bit when you go to save, too. It's music, though, dude. It's pretty effective, like, when you first go into an area for the first time. the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. The map so far. ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. I'm at crab shop. The crab seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. Upgrade the claw. She bought from the hermit crab. 
Marin took out her tools and made a quick modification to her magnetic claw. Marker for your next destination. Now oh, we're in the current now, so I guess we're going this way. Clams. I think this is what he wants. So yeah, the clams are a little tricky because um, it's, you're not always sure exactly what they want to eat. But I think that'll do it. Nope. Wrong guess. Giant All right. Clams were notoriously picky eaters. Each one seemed to prefer a different kind of treat. I think that's the same, but we'll, we'll get a look. Yeah, not what he wants. We'll find something for it. Ah, the urchin. Taking our head and we're leaving. One of your joys, VCA, has been working from home, but you also want the office space. Yeah, because then I can do both. <laughs> <laughs> then I can work from home and not have crazy Bloodworths bothering me all day. With their silly Metroidvania games. Boost jet. With their boost jets. Amidst the wreckage of an old Fomori vessel, Lay an undamaged now we can go against the current for a little bit. Marin bolted it onto the back of her submarine. 
eager to test out its effects on her life. But yeah, real talk, I probably won't be in the office much. If we get an office. That's kind of the point, you know, like find which one of us really wanna like Damiani and probably Ben, you know, that uh wanna handle the administrative stuff and the day to day. Like Damiani's been very smart, like a lot of the time he's been working, he's been going into people's offices. Oh like, yeah. Not easy allies' offices, but he's like, I just need to be in an office so I can do work. Because it's difficult. It's very distracting. Yeah. You know? I'm not editing right now. I'm watching Bloodworth play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should be editing. But this is very, very pretty. Trade? Yeah, you didn't see him earlier? I didn't see him before, no. That's where you get your upgrades from the Hermit Crab. And he waves when you say goodbye. <laughs> Break some pots. Our Haley wants a new endless ocean made in the Uncharted 4 engine. Yeah, yeah that's always been the bummer, like, when those games have come out. That, like, they, they never really had the, uh, the graphics path. to back them up. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy. And even avoided each other's light. be dropping frames now we are those nope uh, sorry I didn't I didn't catch it earlier I noticed people mentioning it but I wasn't sure that they're talking about us or about the game Marin peered through the windows of the houses wondering if a marrow girl once lived there and if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above Crusher real quick. Oh. Oh, that was a fake out. <laughs> there you go. Searchlights. Ben signed off on the review. Marin uh, discovered two glowing lights amidst the scraps of an so old Fomori machine. Okay, cool. She attached them to the front of the submarine's hull, hoping they would help guide her on her journey. So yeah, so the searchlights let you push away the jellyfish. Uh, 
Uh, is there any wiggling in this game, bud? Um, hmm. I don't know. Sound anything. Like it. I, I, I don't know if there's anything I quite define as wiggling. A blur of color darted through the shadows. Was that a Mero maiden swimming through the ruins? Um, wait, I thought you were doing a fix. Yeah, I'm doing a fix. Okay. okay. The fix is done. Um, I guess if he copies everything that's on the other one, there's some other small things that I don't know if he'll, he'll spot. But just in the description? Just the cards and tags and everything. But. Should be all right if he, he copies everything. Let's see what else is down here. Oh. These jellyfish out of my way. The coins. Tried to speak to her, but the marrow raced away. Hermit hype. Uh, what else would I have liked to have seen on the, the mini? I don't know. I mean, I think the NES mini has got a nice mix of. Uh, Nintendo Polish games and uh, third parties. So, good to see some Castlevania and Mega Man in there. Final Fantasy. Oh, it seems to be pretty well rounded in terms of genres, too. that the classic controllers um, can be used on the mini and, and vice versa. Pretty cool that you can use those same controllers. The Naruto MMO coming to the west. Isn't it a browser game though? Is that any good? Like brain coral? Yes, brain coral was the answer.
Yeah, you can use the the Mini's controller for uh, Virtual Console too. That's what I meant. Pufferfish. The razor quilled pufferfish was not a direct threat, but it steadfastly refused to move out of the way. That is one of those things that you can't do anything about for a long time. Oh. Is there something I missed? A glowing swirl in the water tugged at Merrin's sob. Was this a tine vortex? Where might it lead? And this is basically, uh, yeah, this is your warp back to older areas. So, since this is the first one, it doesn't lead anywhere yet. At last, the Mero Maiden stopped. Merrin called to her. Please wait. I'm only trying to find my father. The Mero looked at her for a long moment. Then stirred the water with her hands, forming a ghostly image. It was the sunken ship graveyard known as Skeleton Reef. Could her father be trapped there? The Mero pointed the way to go, and Merrin thanked her. Before she turned to go, Merrin asked the Mero her name. Call me Kara, she said. Another girl once called me that, years ago. She said it means friend. Cara the Mero. Look at that thing in the background. It's sort of like a turtle. <laughs> what is it doing a doggy paddle? Seven clock extension or turbine boost. Uh, I'll boost the turbine for now. Just so here you rip it, rip off the lid. Whole fragment. Ooh, maximum health increased. Nice. Marin picked up a fragment of a Fomori Sentinel's hull. She hammered it into the wall of her own submarine, making it more resistant to damage. Recharge. Oh, okay, just made it. So there's these little anchor points here that are nice.
got it. That passage is blocked for now. Let's see. I can't remember. I can actually get through this part yet. Daidari. Daidari, you're, you're a subscriber, subscriber now. now. Back in the top yet. New subs watching subs. <laughs> this stream is all about sub hype. Horse was poking at a glass wall. Such a strange creature, Merrin thought. She wished she could understand what it wanted. Oh, another uh, clam down here. Somebody wants a sub sandwich. kind of the funny thing about going through a game like this for the second time. It's the first time you're, you're willing to just kind of beat your head at the wall. It's like, ah, I don't know, that might work. And it's like, no, I know exactly what I need to get through there. Nice. <laughs> song for R. Haley? Did, uh, did they miss one? Or are they saying they just never, they never got it because they subbed at the wrong time or something? No. To reach the lost graveyard of ships, Merrin would have to cross the foul and treacherous region known as Watcher's Hollow. This was a place her father had never sung about, for the tales of the Watcher were known only to those below. You too are also a subscriber. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is the one thing that kind of tripped me up a little bit. There's spider webs down here. Uh oh, we got Ben. Look out, Ben. Yeah, yeah. There's a certain point. I don't know if we'll get to it today. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a point in this game that would keep Ben from playing the whole game. Ben. We did warn Ben. I warned Ben on Twitter already.
Oh, they're, they're saying it's a hint that Insomniac may be Spider-Man. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, good call. Glowing cuddle pups swam cuddle pop. through the dark caverns, heedless of their deadly surroundings. Maybe they were tougher than they looked. Even the stinging anemones seemed to avoid them. I don't know if anything. Oh, yeah, there. Look at those eyes. The eyes in the watcher's lair. I gotta wait for the cuddle pup to come back. So far, um, I don't want to spoil the review. Uh, review's coming, but uh, yeah, I, I like the game. That's safe to say. Whoa. Yeah, these enemies are pretty, pretty gnarly. Echo the Dolphin creepy. Um, trying to remember what got creepy about Echo the Dolphin. I don't. I don't think it's quite quite like that. You know, you don't go to outer space or anything. We very appropriately have some Swedish fish that we are dining on. So I'm pulling this chain. Door should stay open long enough. I'm gonna go through it. There we go. Sirens every time, Jones. Busy, busy streets. <laughs> Here on the west side of Southern California. It's Los Angeles, man. People just get in car accidents all the time. Yeah. Um, just an ambulance running, running to or from a car accident. Goldfish. Got a goldfish now. Oh, and uh, that's enough to get an upgrade. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Look. Uh. Don't want to get stuck. I actually, I had a weird glitch. I still need to record it. I did do the. I did put it on the share video or whatever. Uh, but I had a weird glitch where like I respawned, and uh, well, yeah, I died and I, I respawned. And I, there was like this gear mechanism, and then for whatever reason, these jars that weren't supposed to be there like spawned above the mechanism, and they like got wedged in the gears, so then I couldn't move it, and I was just stuck in the gears, and I'm like, what the heck? How did this happen? Physics, baby! Yeah, I mean, physics makes sense, but the fact that those jars didn't make sense, they just came out of nowhere. All right, claw range, very important. Look behind this to hermit crab. Merrin sailed out into a great 
open expanse of water. The howls of hungry leviathans echoed in the distance. This seemingly bottomless trench was known as the Maw. The Maw. The Maw. So that'll, that'll take me back to the other vortex. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you something real, real cool, creepy. Yeah, Matei points out that Ben said Tabletop Adventures again. Yeah. And uh, nobody uh, corrected him. Uh, Whoa! Yeah. So now, now this is the deep. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to show you guys something. In the distance, Merrin spotted a tall, sleek tower. It looked somehow familiar, but she couldn't remember where she had seen it before. An old diving bell sat amongst the rocks. The Fomori had once used them to navigate the maze of deep undersea currents. Merrin wondered, if her father had come this way, could he have used one of the diving bells? Spoilers. <laughs> so that's not like some Easter egg or something in the background. That's actually a plot point, that tower. The tower, yeah. So there's a save point down here too. We're gonna go deeper. And deeper. I don't hear no songs. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> shuddered, as if recovering from a bad dream. For a moment, she thought she had experienced her own death. But it had merely been the time showing her one of the <sighs> possible roads ahead. Comic Con starts next Wednesday. Oh, wow. So. Conveniently, uh, the day after our group stream. So we're going to do our group stream, and then I'm going to get up early next morning and head on down to San Diego. Crazy. Oh, yeah, but even though, uh, yeah, it shows, it still shows uh, how far down I went on the map. So even though you're not supposed to be down there yet. <laughs> Dilemma. Oh, they've almost got me. I'm dead again. Yeah. Mass murder is one of the ways that they uh, <laughs> prevent you from going places you're not supposed to be yet. side. Christmas miracle. <laughs> Thank you, Christmas miracle. There's like another small area that I can mess around a bit with. Oh, not really. Okay. We'll come back to that later. Now we're going up. So there's more of these anchor points here. <laughs> I'm 
in love with all of the subtle slow moving stuff in the background. Yeah. That's like such a win in this game. Even just that little crap there. Like that, that little fish or whatever. Try to get over to the right, but I'm not sure if I can. I think if I go out here and a hard-headed Nautiloceros watched uh -oh. Aaron from a distance, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Oh. Nautiloceros. I there we go. Decoration it said you need to kill the flowery things. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> if you need to kill the flowery things, I, I don't know how to go about that. To have ice beam and wave beam to defeat the flowers. <laughs> Oh, not 
Lusserus. fragment of a Fomori sentinel. Each new piece would help her further strengthen her own vessel. Let's go up there yet. Anchors. happening yeah i think it's coming right to you yeah sorry man maybe i'll i mean like in the future i can restart the router or we can just do like i can do that right now we can just go off for five minutes and just just went offline everything. for a few seconds bossman's internet infected them i mean if it's if it says drop frames that's bad news yeah yeah um all right let me go let me go restart the router let's let's do let's do this all right proper. we'll be right back sorry buddy Yeah, we'll we'll go like an extra half hour. Just oh, will we? Well, I will. Hopefully, can I? <laughs> I don't know what your plans are. Maybe we can't. My plans are cut this review as long as you let me do that. Okay then. Turbulent. Banana. <laughs> cool, cool. Skeleton reef. Oh yeah, we're climbing the uh, the anchors. ships lay here? Hundreds. Maybe thousands. The very thought gave her chills. But she knew that somewhere amidst the broken wrecks she would find her father's boat. Jellyfish.
situation. Lost some crates. Uh, I personally have not played Catherine. Obviously, I'm familiar with it, but haven't put the time in. This mechanic, it's, this is one of the little trickier things. So you've got to uh, guide these mines into things that can be blown up. Like so. Uh, they're saying I hear it, but it's not in the game. Huh. Wouldn't make sense for it to be the mic, right? Sounds like it's low. Is that bad or? Dilemma reviews live. Not sure if I want to go up or down here. Oh, there's a item right next to me though. I'll go for that. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't go for that yet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I will go up first. 
I get this. I tried that a hundred times on my save and I couldn't get that treasure. Oh! Alright. You're learning. Like Whatever. Learning. No, I, I did the same exact thing. Maybe you're learning the game's inconsistent. <laughs> I actually did wonder about that. It was a little weird. I tried that over and over and over again. In this save, I tried it once and it worked. dislike on the video came from Ben's ex-girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> uh, increased claw damage for 500. Additional turbine for 400 or magnetic collector. I'm going to go for the additional turbine. of the men and women who had once walked through the rooms of this giant ship. we can hear what's causing the crackling. Let's try, uh, I'll mute, what's that? I'll mute the mic. Let's see what... So I'm going to mute the mic. If you still hear the crackling with the mic off, let me know. I will, you know, too.
All right, so now the game is muted, but the mic is on. Do you hear with just me? Just a what? Why don't we just go camera and uh, swap out each of my cable and then come back. Hmm. Now I'm going to be on the Crackle app. Yeah. Debugging live on stream. So Crackle is gone. So it is, it is just like, a, it could just be reseeding it. Okay, uh, you wanna go? Full screen on that, and just we'll yeah, swap the HDMI cable real quick. Yeah, so just hang it to be full camera on you. Just sit down and talk amongst yourselves. Woo! Keep talking, keep talking. How we doing? Swordfish's favorite candy bar is crackle. Nice. People said it was back when I turned it back on, so that's a good indication there. All right, so now we've swapped the cable, and and we're back. Uh, it's unmuted and everything. Yeah. So how we how we sounding now? You feel that crackle? I'm definitely gonna have to go and listen to this later. The crackle is the dead. It may not have actually been the specific cable, it may have just been like just one of those things where you had to unplug it, plug it back in. So far, no crackle. Yeah. Nice. Cool, yeah, I think it was the uh, issue my cable. It was either the cable or it was just, yeah, not plugged in perfectly. Oh, solving problems. Yeah. Let's get it time. Much better now. Oh, uh, huh. It sounds much better. There's a glitch with this flower. I, I can talk about it later, though. Flower glitch. Ship's gone. <laughs> Crackle is back. What? I don't know. I don't know how to fix that then. That's weird. We didn't do anything.
Probably try to attack him again. Shortcut back. Always good to have a shortcut option. Meryn froze as she saw a Fomori sentinel ahead of her. Of all their creations, the sentinels were the ones Meryn feared the most. There are once thousands of these unmanned vessels patrolling every inch of the sea. They collected what was valuable to the Fomori and destroyed what was not. And so they might continue, following their sleepless patrols, until everything under the sea is silent and still. Robots killing everything. Whether they need to or not. Oh, weird, they just like warp me over here. Yeah, this is a part I had trouble with. Let's throw on these mines straight at the thing. Brandon's doing some adjustments. It's weird. I can guarantee you that those sirens are probably louder than the crackle. Hi, Hesperus. Game's going well. that way. Sirens of the Sea. still hear it? This is not, there's like, but there's nothing. Cause there's one thing if you get like a feedback off of, you can tell the feedback that you're getting from the audio source. Cause it's like, if you blow up something and there's an explosion, then you know, there's a crackle surrounding the explosion. Like, ah, oh, okay, there's something wrong with the, the input on the HDMI on the PC. There's something wrong with the cable or something like that. There'll be dead silence. You'll literally just music and the sub will just be floating along. No one's talking, nothing's happening. And then it's a little bit crackle. Like what? Like. Weird. <laughs> Why did I crackle right there? Yeah, sorry. That's that's as good as that's gonna get. But it's for, I mean, I don't want crackling during Red Dead tonight. I will, um, 
The only thing I can think of is maybe the mic cable is going, that USB. Um, so I might well, it's weird, though, because when we muted the game sources when the crackle went away, the first time, I don't know. But I've streamed PS4 nonstop. Right. With this setup, <laughs> no crackle. Plug in a different PS4 crackle. Uh, yeah, I'm planning on some Red Dead tonight. Go down. I'm checking what time Red Dead is right now, actually. Oh no, Kyle Boss? No, never mind. No Red Dead tonight. Kyle's doing uh, Gemini Heroes Reborn. Oh, right. I got booted. Never mind. This is those unscheduled screams. I actually read that at 11. See? Yeah, tonight is stacked. Another piece of the hole. You can also do Red Dead like tomorrow morning. Yeah. Or sometime tomorrow. I'd rather get booted by somebody than have an empty stream schedule. There's just a shortcut back. I'd rather get booted from a stream schedule than have a game crackle. Uh-huh. Uh... by seawater, and the paint on them matched that of her father's boat. But if they were pieces of his boat, where was the rest of it? And where was he? Crabs. There's a Metroid wall for you. All right, you need something purple for the purple clam. Cool. Uh, 
Let's see where to take this mine. Oh, there's a chest here. Uh-oh. Another fish. We talked about the, uh, the NES Mini earlier. So this is this is probably why things get a little bit tedious is just kind of trying to guide things around like so. Oh, flower just now dropped. Oh, careless. kind of purple. There we go. That's the anchor. Crazy crab wants to eat anchors. down into the twisting passages of Watcher's Hollow, thinking her father might be trapped further below. But with every passing second, she felt the chill of unseen eyes watching her and waiting to strike. Oh, back into Watcher's Hollow. Oh, I think I can get my way up there. Get all of my push. Spider action here.
Where are the crabs? There's there's some eyeballs. on a jagged piece of rock. Wrapped around it was a deflated strand of glow kelp. Could that be her father's glove? He had taught her that glow kelp bulbs could be used to breathe for a short while. Lair. She saw a wriggling cocoon stuck to the wall. Her heart raced. Could that be her father? Spider head. Yeah. victim. Out of here, jellyfish.
Was that your first boss battle? That was the first boss battle. Wow. It's still twitching. That's messed up. <laughs> Merrin returned to the cocoon, frantically racing to break it open. Her heart sank. It wasn't her father inside. Just a funny-looking little sea serpent. A baby leviathan. The little serpent swam around in circles, waving its tail as if to say, Thank you. Merrin tried to shoo it away, back to wherever it lived. But the odd little creature just followed her. The young serpent wanted to play. It swam back and forth, swishing its tail, trying to get Merrin's attention. Perhaps, she thought, it doesn't hurt to have just one friend in the lonely depths of the sea. Swish. She would call him Swish. Swish. Swordfish feels sorry for that sea spider. Well. He's just doing his thing, you know. Ben doesn't. You're on his turf. Swish dove down playfully rummaging around the debris that lay below. Merrin was about to call him back when she saw that he had found something. Pine Torpedo! Merrin looked over the curious contraption that Swish had found, trying to guess at its purpose. Ooh. After a little work, she discovered a way to use it for channeling and projecting Oh time man, you can get so many energy. places now. Yep. That's like the thing you needed to find. <laughs> Sea star with a green clam. Hello, Germany. We and Takus, when am I gonna? Stream F Zero GX. Uh, I don't know. Maybe next week. Why not? All right. Let's drop this big heavy rock on this big chest. for the alloy claw 250 torpedo trap 600 for that 700 for that all right torpedo trap or well let's see hmm. yeah we'll do that so the torpedo trap is like this it's like a little barrier Uh, let's see. 
worry about going back up just yet. Just need to go down that way. Okay. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to play a little Pokemon. Pokemon. I want to know how many badges you have. Uh, in, uh, um, I now have eight. Eight badges. But I did not have eight going into the episode. You have not seen yet. But I now have eight. home in the Merrow ruins, but the doors were sealed shut. Hoping to speak with her, Merrin searched for another way in. So we're gonna go an extra half an hour thanks to our little technical weirdness. Did the best I could, but I don't know. I mean just weird stuff happens. No, I can tell what you meant. I think somebody had said at one point that they didn't hear the crackle anymore. Which is hilarious. Say the C word. Say it. Wait, I couldn't get through here before, right? Can I get through it now? I think I can if I give it another shot. Here we go. 
about it the right way though. Let it cool down all the way. Alright. And then let go. Yes. Right there, that was it. So we're not gonna be able to go through that passage, but we can go down here. Turbine. Whoa. Marin found a tiny but powerful turbine. She connected it to a ball joint on the submarine's tail. Too big to fit through. Open the door and then throw the head in. Flourishing city. What had happened here? Where were all the marrows now? I think it goes off to another aria. We can do that later. Play through this? Are you picking this up next week? Uh, no, I won't, I won't full play through this. Oh. Is it the crackle? 
Uh, Discouraged no. by the crackle button. <laughs> no. The crackle popped you. Although I will be curious if we can test some other things offline at all. There's a way we can hear it. Those the annoying ruins. things. A solemn reminder of an ancient conflict. <laughs> there we go. Marin had discovered an old Big upgrade. diving suit. She put it on, and in her pocket of the suit, she found a striped seashell tied to a string. It looked just like the one her father kept above the fireplace. She tied the string around her neck, hoping the shell would bring her luck. Diving suit. Marin held her breath and dove out through nice. the submarine's hatch. Bubbles coming out of the shell around her neck. Putting it to her mouth, she gently breathed in and felt the air fill her cheeks. Were these the same shells that were once used by ancient explorers? This is not a 15 hour game. Uh, I definitely poked and brought it a lot and I was finished around 9.22. So, I guess it's probably six to eight hours for most people. This is a weird mechanic, like, you you literally can't go back this way. So you just have to hit, hold the button. I mean, it's helpful to be able to do that. It's just a weird, there are places that you have to. Or do you just, Zap, teleport back in. Yeah. That's convenient. But even though I'm small, there's still things I can't do here. So I had a little bit of a head start. Uh, I think I got the game like last Thursday is when I started. There's something I can do over here. Woo. Oh yeah, look at that. Crush that chest.
Uh, this game has a weird amount of merchandise at GameStop. Yeah, well, GameStop's basically publishing it, so I guess that's that's why it makes sense. I want to use every means they can to make people aware of it. As she searched the ruins, Meryn felt a pang of sadness. Was Kara the only Mero left? As Marin approached, Kara slowly lifted her head. She looked pale and weak. With a gentle wave of her hand, she showed Marin a shimmering image of a tall tower beneath the sea. There's that tower, remember? Kara spoke softly, and there was a touch of pain in her voice. This is the deep light. It was built long, long ago, and now lies dormant. If you awaken the tower, we'll show you the way to find your father. She leaned closer and whispered the secret of how to awaken the deep light. Marin thanked her and said goodbye. She would find some way to repay Kara's kindness once she had found her father. Powered the deep light had been scattered across the sea. Kara had marked their locations on Marin's map, but she warned that retrieving them would be a very dangerous task. See you, Wing Attackers. Yeah, so we just got our first uh, backtracking mission, more or less. So, well, I guess they're not really backtracking, huh? They're all new areas. We'll go to the right first. Sophie. Oh, hi. Hey. You might dig this game. It's about a little girl who's looking for her dad. It's not a little girl. She built her own submarine. Yeah. It's heavy. It's a thing that she's swimming with. 
going down into the deep. What's up, Soph? She's like, I was taking a nap, and then I realized Bloodworth. <laughs> uh, Brandon, can I show you something? That's what I do up back here sometimes, but he doesn't realize it. Yeah. I'm just kind of just feeling kind of mean. Are those Swedish fish? Oh, yes. Bloodworth. Can I have one? Yeah. You can have a couple. Mm -hmm. I just want one. You just want ah. one? This one's small. Selfie. Yeah. Hi, Sophie. 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 Hi
There we go. We'll save so we don't have to do it again. Hoverfish! Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Negotiate with a puffer fish, yeah. Actually, I, I wonder if I can negotiate with a puffer fish. Is there anything here? Anything? Anything? No. Nothing here. If there's anything to grab. All right, so we got this pearl. Search of the next orb. All right, five minutes left. I don't know if there's any kind of real crunch to end on, but we'll see. Just right here. But I can't do anything with it.
open that door. That's all I really needed to do over there anyways. Oh, I guess there's a, you know, there's a power up over there. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Oh, tricky, tricky. There's where the pollen goes. Find a place to uh, do a little shopping and then uh, close it out. Shopping crunch. Cool guys. Uh, so that's Song of the Deep. Uh, like I said, I finished it in a little over nine hours. Probably, you can probably get through it in six to eight. Uh, definitely going through it faster on my second run uh, as I'm a little bit more focused and not poking at every wall that there is and every little treasure. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, definitely in, enjoying the game. Uh, I'll go home and write my review tonight, and that will go up sometime soon. Uh, that it, crackle, though. That crackle. Yeah, we've got to figure <laughs> out the crackle. Might, might take a little time to figure out the crackle before I go home. Let us know if the crackle returns. Be patient with the crackle. Yeah, I mean, if I if I do this, do you hear crackle? I don't know. I don't know how much you've heard crackle anyways. So there, it's, there, there's, there's crackles in life, baby. There, there's a buzz. There's <laughs> yeah. bugs there's buzzing flies by. flies flying yeah. around. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Sophie crackles. Yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, keep an eye out for the review, which will go up on uh, youtube.com slash easyallies. Uh, if you like what we're doing, uh, go to easyallies.com and check out our schedule, or go to uh, patreon.com slash easyallies and uh, you know, support us, and uh, we'll be able to do stuff like this through the future. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, I will be back around the same time next week. I haven't exactly decided on the game, but F-Zero GX sounds like a good call, so why not? See you guys. <laughs>